are going to create this UI. This is basically OTP verification screen. Uh, and uh, let's get started. So basically, uh, we have already created this widget because you guys can see this is the same widget as of this, right? So for this, we have created a useful widget called green intro widget that we have created in the last screen. Okay. Uh, one thing that we have to do is we have to put this little icon on this green intro widget. After this, we have to create this little view. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to create uh, OTP verification screen inside view. OTP verification. Okay. Let's import material. Now we have to create stateful widget OTP verification screen. Okay. After this, let's call scaffold. And inside scaffold, we have to call body. Uh, let's call it column. Okay. After this, uh, as I have told you that we have already created a widget for this. Uh, now we have to call green intro widget. Okay and control s so let's call this widget from the login screen so we have this login screen that contains a login widget so basically this portion is called login widget now what i want to do is when i click on this text field i should be redirected to the otp verification screen so for now don't worry about the flow we will be fixing all these in the upcoming videos so for navigation I'm using get or you guys can say get x OTP verification screen this is a screen control s and let's click on this yeah guys it's been here so we are on OTP verification screen that contain this beautiful widget and we have to create this little uh, icon button and on top of this so for this we have to wrap this widget with a stack and let's wrap it with a stack and in the very bottom we have to call uh, container okay we have to give it a width of uh, 55 or 45 also height of 45 we have to give it a decoration of box decoration because this is going to be uh, circular box shape dot circle and color is colors dot white okay so we have created this little uh, beautiful icon uh, let's uh, give it a little bit alignment by using a position widget position is special widget that takes input parameter like uh, spacing from the top suppose we are going to give it a 60 and spacing from the left suppose we are going to give it 30 so yeah you guys can see it's on this position uh, as next we have to do we have to use this icon in the middle of the container very simple we have to call child and then we have to call icon icons dot arrow back yeah this one control s and you guys can see it's here now we just have to little bit tweak it uh, its color is okay its primary color is green let's give it color and we have all colors stored in inside colors plus colors dot green color okay control s and you guys can see color is applied now let's reduce the size a little bit 20 yeah now that's look perfect so next thing i want to do is when someone click on this widget it should redirect user on the previous screen so for this purpose I'm going to use the inkwell widget that have on tab interface inside that and we have to call get dot back for this we must import get x okay yeah now let's check we have to click on this yeah guys it's redirected back to the previous screen let's work on the remaining section too so i'm going to create a widget with the called otp verification widget 
uh, this is the stack and here first of all I'm going to give it a size box height of 50 a hard coded height and then I'm going to create a widget uh, OTP verification widget right <coughs> now let's create this widget for this I have to go inside widget screen and I have to create file OTP verification widget let's import material and we have to create a widget and its name is it should be the same name as we have registered over here let's copy and paste and for now let's return a container okay yeah guys it's so let let me do some copy and pasting uh, as you guys can see this section is almost similar to this right but only two things are changed one this text field is completely changed and the text a little bit so let's do it uh, I have already a login widget over here and uh, let's copy and paste it inside OTP verification widget that we have created now le let's just, just, just change the name the name of the widget is OTP ok I have changed now let's remove these parameters and uh, we have to remove this widget too ok let's see let's import this widget and yeah guys you guys can see we have the same widget uh, like this but we have removed this on the flow let's uh, fix the uh, typings etc let's fix the text so it will be verification widget and this text need to be phone verification and I have already created a constant for this enter OTP yeah guys phone verification and enter your OTP code below this is not the magic uh, but I have already created this text inside app constant dot dot file okay uh, after this we have to do little bit uh, cleaning over here let's remove these two because we have recent code in for this I have already reset okay and just we have to call 10 10 seconds and we are good to go okay the next thing is we have to make this on the start so it should we start okay the next thing is uh, we have to create this widget but I have changed this widget a little bit because it's not looking too good uh, because this is the OTP verification scheme so for this I am going to use a package called uh, pinport let me show you uh, I am going to open pubspec.ml file and you guys can see I am using a pinport code and from pinport library I have picked a widget that I am going to paste it over here inside widget I am going to create a file pinport widget okay so this widget that I have uh, copied from their website as now I'm going to paste it over here so yeah I have pasted and this is the widget that I will be using it's called a rounded with shadow okay up here ok guys it is giving me error don't know why let's see ok a render or flow the next thing unimplemented static let's restart and see maybe it fixed automatically and yeah guys we have this widget setup right 
so let's do some fixing on the UI as we are getting an error okay RTP verification is that one and yeah let's add the same constraints as we have put on this okay I'm going to copy this decoration no sorry uh, okay this is the widget and I have to wrap it with the container width should be available width and height should be 50 okay so now let's see the logs and yeah the issue is now resolved let me restart it again let's click on the field and okay still we have issue is because if we click on this okay so this is the render or for issue let's fix this quickly uh, OTP verification main screen here we just have to wrap this column with a single child scroll view give me a suggestion come on okay single child scroll view okay that's perfect now let's click it on it again so yeah guys we have fixed the error so uh, in this video we have designed the OTP screen right so in the upcoming video I will be going to implement firebase stuff right so we will be implementing a phone authentication for these two screens we will be entering a phone number here and we will be receiving OTP and we will be verifying OTP on this screen after this when we complete the uh, authentication stuff then we will be moving toward the profile settings screen okay so let's meet in the next video